the book of Exodus chapter 3 from verses to 7 to 10 and Psalms 12 Psalms 121 verses 1 to 2 and it reads and the Lord said I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters for I know their sorrows the next verse and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egypt and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Harvards and the Jebusites. verse 9 now therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptian oppressed them the last verse come now therefore and I will send thee unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people the children of Israel out of Egypt now give me Psalms 121 verses 1 and 2 I will lift up my hands unto the hills from where cometh my help saith David the next verse my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and the earth my sermon title is help from above help from above help means to aid to assist to succor to lend means of deliverance help means relief all of us in life who are called for help everybody is called to the ministry of help when you help your siblings you are helping when you help your younger ones with homework you are helping whatever you do indirectly or directly you are in the ministry of help one of the words that can be used to define God is help the Bible says he's our helper in times of need God is not only help when he appears Ebenezer have appeared when he appears help above have appeared wherever you see God moving he's helping if you feel God is not doing anything he's still helping whatever God does is help when you feel God is not answering your prayer he's still helping you perhaps to make sure before you get to that when you see God bringing miracles to your life, that is still help. God cannot help himself but to help. The Bible says he is our helper. In times of need, no matter the definition of help you have in your own personal understanding, but you cannot help but to articulate and you must understand that God is the helper. Romans 8.28 says, all things work together for good. All things are good. Perhaps because of your emotional instability per that moment you feel like mm -mm, this is not good but the Bible says all of them as long as you're a lover of God and you believe God that will certainly work for your good even the pain you might be experiencing child of God it is for your good all things things but all not some things, but all. Not other things, but everything. Works for our good. David said, I will lift up mine eyes. From whence cometh my help? 
my help cometh from God, who is the maker of heaven and earth. If God made heaven and earth, he's able to maneuver that breakthrough for you. If he made heaven and earth, he's able to make everything to work for your good. If he made heaven and earth, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which you can comprehend. Somebody asked me in my life some point, said Stella, why do you choose to serve God? Among every other thing you have done, we are a multi-talented woman. I said to her, I choose to save the creator than saving the created things. When you do the work of the creator and you understand, God, I have a desire. I have a plea. I'm pleading to you. You understand that no matter what it is, certainly, assuredly, as long as you look up to heaven, from whence cometh your help, I pray for you. That thing which you are looking for, help above is coming for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that in all your endeavors, from today, help from above is coming for you. In the name of Jesus, what no man can do, oh my God, my God, God of Joshua Igina is about to do it for you and I. Listen, child of God, it doesn't matter how your background is dysfunctional. It doesn't matter where you come from. I don't care you're an orphan. I don't care you don't know your mother or your father, but I came to tell you that there is Ebenezer, our stone of help. This is the year where you will receive help in every ramification of your life. My God, my God. I don't know what you have been looking for over the years, but 2024, being the year of our Beniza in champion, my God, the stone of help is about to help you in the name of Jesus.